right, so here he is, the number one lightweight contender. And man, if that's not saying something, right? Got through the gauntlet at 155 pounds, made himself undeniable. And now tonight, DC, we find out what he has for the champion. It long has been considered the deepest weight class in the UFC. So you know to get here is very tough. You have navigated the water. You have done everything right. When it was time to press square, you press square. When it was time to press X, you press X. You better do it again tonight if you want to become the champion. There is no room for error as you try to win the UFC championship. And no room for a one-pound allowance. He was right on the number 155 pounds championship weight. Confidence is high, and he will rest the title away. This is Herb fight. Dean as our referee Ready. tonight. Good. All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. There were a lot of seminal moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But, John, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Oh, nice knee. Other, feeling each other out and managing risk, but really not much in terms of action thus far. No, they got to get going. I understand that when people are fresh, they're very scary, but you cannot be this cautious. they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Pretty good head kick there. Nice body shot there. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Unable to connect there. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be in the last man stand. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Left punch on target tonight. Nasty high kick, how is he still standing? Oh, great block there. 
Two minutes to go in the round. It's high. Oh, nice. But that punch, no good. to the body now, that one won't land. Push kick there to the body. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Beautiful jab there by Tim. Good jab. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Under a minute to go. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Whoa, what a head kick. A nice counter there with the left hand. Snaps it off beautifully. Straight right is there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Final seconds. Round two straight ahead. Great work. We won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work back. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to... Oh! Oh, good block there. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. All right, well, he walked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. Now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, good work with the jab there. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, straight punch. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, got that head kick home. Nice punch lands over the top.
Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. As soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs, right? Now. Oh! <laughs> two minutes now to go round two. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Strike lands clean. Just misses there with the left hand. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock this fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Establishing the jab here. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. Got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. 30 seconds to go in the round. Right hand barely missed there. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you have one knee to the body. I'm going. Every time he tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Oh, nice jab. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. 
All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to appear. Oh, oh, no. Single collar tie. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Just out of range with that kick attempt. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Nice straight punch there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Fighters separate from the clinch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that land. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. Final seconds of round three. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Feels like the beginning of the end. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready? Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your real desire. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, huge knee to the head. Well, 
Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes, and at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter, but tonight he has worked the body to great effect, and those are really starting to take their toll. And now some separation. Slips that left hand. Misses with the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He gets to the single college. I look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Misses with the left hook. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Gotta start throwing now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Left hook to the head, it's blocked. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Lands a nice leg kick. Game of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Good punch lands. Ninety seconds to go. Try to establish that jab. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time. Big punch to the body. Now some separation. Huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Big kick land. Well, at times he's tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so. And now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fighter because a fighter never really wants to give you anything, but he can't help himself. 10 seconds to go in round four. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so what a round it was for multiple knockdowns. When we sat down with him on Thursday, he said, when I touch guys in this division, they go down, and he proved prophetic. That's exactly what happened in the previous The round. guy has lightning in his hand. Every time he is landing, he is putting his opponent on his butt over and over, knocking him down. He has not found the finish, but he needs to stay patient, find the perfect shot, hit him with that kill shot. You get that kill shot off, and there will be no more getting up. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. 
It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed Ready hard fight. are the ones that usually right. put your opponent out. He landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Fighter lands a left. Uh, continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Nice leg kick. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. High level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Oh, nice job getting the guard up to block that one. Clipped him with the right hand there. Well, if body lands... Oh! Oh, jump! Beautiful diving strike land. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Straight right hand on the counter is good. Oh, nice. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. That's a nice jab by him there. Oh, good kicks now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Trying to go. <laughs> Looking to land the leg kick now. Now he lands a solid punch. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting. Oh, oh that's it! Knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.